Hi guys, welcome back to Delish Fit Life. My name is Tia. Thank you so much for being here. Today is all about vegan lunch ideas. But first, let me just remind you, if you have not subscribed yet to Delish Fit Life, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time I post a new video, which is mainly and mostly every Friday. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make three tasty vegan recipes that are not only super tasty, but they're quick and easy to prepare and also easy to take on the go. I'm gonna show you how to make some lettuce wraps with a sweet and tangy mustard sauce, some collard green wraps with a spicy gochujang sauce, and a beautiful rice and lentil salad. The good thing about these recipes is that they are highly nutritious and packed with healthy carbohydrates. They're also low in fat, so if you're like me and you're trying to lose a few pounds, you wanna be able to cut the fat while keeping the great and amazing, satisfying taste. And most importantly, these recipes do promote awesome digestion, so if you want to fight the belly bloat, get rid of the belly fat, and just work towards that flat tummy, then these recipes are for you. Another cool thing about these recipes is that if you're on the go, these meals can be enjoyed either reheated or simply having them at room temperature. These recipes are available at delishfitlife.com, but if you'd like to see how I made them, then just keep watching. Jicama, scallions, king oyster mushrooms, and sweet peppers. These are the veggies, but if you cannot find the jicama, do not fret. You can get water chestnuts in most grocery stores. They're in the can. You just chop them up, or you can use some fresh radishes. So I learned this tip a long, long time ago with extra firm tofu. If you want like a chicken texture, um, all you have to do is freeze it, thaw it, squeeze the water out really well. For this recipe, I'm going to crumble it up like a ground meat kind of thing. But um, you can use this also if you just slice it up and bake it in the oven with barbecue sauce. You can do like tofu ribs. So it's highly versatile. So I definitely suggest that you give it a try. But back to this recipe, I'm just going to go ahead and crumble this up and get this ready for the pan because this is the main component to these lettuce wraps that's going to give it the meaty texture that's going to be so lovely with the crunch of the lettuce and the other vegetables so i did use one tablespoon of coconut oil for this recipe because there's really no substitute for getting this nice beautiful brown crispiness that you see here um, and once that uh, at that point then you can just go ahead and add in the scallions and the jicama once again, if you do not find the jicama, water chestnuts and radishes work absolutely just fine and you should be able to find that at most places. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of soy sauce just to kind of get the flavor started with this uh, lettuce wrap filling. And I'm just gonna keep that going. And then I love beautiful colors because when you see beautiful colors and pretty food, it just really makes it all the more appetizing. So I added the sweet peppers in yellow and red and then in goes the finely diced king oyster mushrooms which adds that final meaty texture to this dish and if you guys know me um, you know that I always keep frozen peeled ginger in the freezer that I just grate finely into recipes because it just melts that delicious flavor and it's just quick and easy and that's exactly what I just added there was just some garlic powder and fresh ginger and that wraps up the filling for these beautiful lettuce wraps so for the sauce it's very easy also um, i'm starting it off with a little bit of sugar and some sesame oil a little bit of rice vinegar soy sauce a little bit of salt and the chinese mustard um, you guys know that you get that chinese mustard at the restaurants and i've never really tried it before but you know, when I'm thinking about recipe creation, I think about all the different flavors that go together and this one comes together so nicely and it's very, very delicious on these wraps. I found this Chinese mustard at the Asian market for like a dollar and 59 cents. So I look forward to trying all different types of recipes with it. So look how beautiful this is, guys. Um, I use some romaine lettuce, but feel free to use any kind of lettuce you like or even some cabbage for that matter. If anyone, any of you have ever had um, Thai food and with the chicken larb or tofu larb um, that's wrapped in the cabbage, it's really, really good. So 
I went ahead and dressed one up for the camera, but I could not even help myself. I had to go ahead and get a taste. And you'll see here in just a second, I decided to go ahead and just polish this off. So once again, that tangy sweet mustard sauce with the crispy vegetables and the chewy meaty tofu. This is definitely a winner. You're going to love it. So on to the collard greens and rice wraps. Being the southern girl that I am, I'm always thinking of a way to use some rice because I'm from the low country near Charleston, South Carolina. So rice is just you know a part of my language as far as food goes so to get these collard greens ready to wrap the rice we want to get rid of that stem so as you can see i just kind of scored down the middle to get rid of the toughest part of the stem and now the collard green is really pliable and ready for me to go ahead and just kind of blanch quickly in some boiling water um, just go ahead and blanch a few of them at a time and in about a minute or so they're ready to come out of the water and ready to wrap something delicious in. And as you can see, this is like super easy as pie. So for the sauce, this is some gochujang, which is a super popular Korean sauce um, that they use to make a lot of different seasonings and sauces with. It's super versatile. It has a smoky, sweet, savory flavor. I just love it. Um, I'm having um, adding some apple cider vinegar here. And once again, all the recipes are at Delish Fit Life. Some soy sauce, some maple syrup, um, and some chili sauce. Finish off this particular sauce and just a tad of sesame oil. If you don't have this in your pantry, please do get some because this is another versatile ingredient that has such a different, unique flavor that just, I mean, you literally can just drizzle a little bit on a salad, like a quarter of a teaspoon, spread it on top of your salads, and while it wakes it up. So this sauce is ready for this beautiful, beautiful collard green and rice combination. And I did not wrap them all pretty here because <laughs> um, just for demonstration and purposes, I was just showing that you can wrap it up. But all you have to do is as you're rolling it, pinch the sides in and then you have that perfect burrito pocket that the rice doesn't fill, spill out. Just like when you go to any burrito restaurant. But once again, I couldn't help myself. I had to go ahead and finish a roll right here with you guys watching. <laughs> So these collard green and rice wraps just remind me of home. They remind me of everything I love about rice and vegetables. And they're so highly nutritious, especially because I'm getting a healthy carb and a big dose of greens. So last but not least, we have this savory lentil and rice salad. So I'm starting off with just some water in the pan. And I'm going to water saute some onions and garlic and some nice rinsed lentils. Got some seasonings here. Um, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um, and just go ahead and get this ready to simmer. Cover it with some water, put the lid on it. This is like a no-brainer, guys. Lentils are super easy. Um, once I cover that with the lid, they're going to go for about 15 or 20 minutes just until the lentils are tender and they are ready for this salad. I had a lot left over, so I like to add them on baked potatoes, rice, I mean, whatever you can think to add them on, just do it. So I found some vegan Worcestershire sauce. And this is also a nice savory uh, thing to make a sauce, especially in this case, this salad dressing. So I just put some nutritional yeast in there. And then I'm going to go in with just a few drops of liquid smoke. And that's it to this very simple but very savory salad dressing for this rice and lentil salad. What really wakes this salad up is just these beautiful, colorful vegetables. And I love you like cross using vegetables um, in recipes when I plan out what I'm gonna eat for the week. So the sweet peppers went nicely with this salad as well. So, you know, that's how you wanna do it. Um, so I'm adding in all, all the ingredients. Uh, this is like, what, a three minute recipe once the lentils are done and you have some rice ready to go. Just kind of stir it all up together and once everything is very well combined the last thing you want to do is add this beautiful dressing just to kind of tie everything together and make it all savory and ooey gooey and yummy and once again you can eat this room temperature or um, warm or however you like it it tastes good so many different ways 
and that is it look at that all right so there you have it guys three wonderful recipes once again if you have not subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified every time i post a new video the recipes are available at delishfitlife.com so i definitely want to hear what you guys think so let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in my next video